Hey guys, Jason here for the love of tractors, and uh, I thought I'd do one of those, hey look what I got videos. So, uh, as you guys know, the uh, summer show was a few weeks ago, uh, then we had a little after event at our friend Chucky Steffen's house, and um, that's always kind of a toy, toy palooza as well, and then um, I went to the Evansville toy show last weekend. Um, some of you guys might know, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> as you can hear. I've been sick. I've been sick for um, way too long now, probably uh, at least a couple months. Um, it has made a lot of things difficult. It has made toys difficult. It has made my day job, which is a physical job, very difficult. Um, and as a result, I think I've, I've fallen way behind, one, on video content and uh, things of that nature, in Instagram, all that sort of thing. I've just gotten behind. Um, I've also gotten behind on shipping. I am catching up, I hope, this week. Uh, I've, I'm shipping out like six packages on Monday. This, I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, there'll be several more going Wednesday. Um, if you're waiting on something for me, I sincerely apologize. But um, I've had a lot going on. So actually, those of you that know, uh, when we went to the summer show, we were actually only at the summer, summer show for... A very little bit because I actually got sick at the summer show and uh, we had to call our day very short and so unfortunately I wasn't able to meet up with some people that I was trying to meet up with um, and I apologize for that but um, anyway I think I'm on the uphill side where we'll see it's it's just been uh, it's been a big challenge so uh, I, know, I know another thing I want to say is I appreciate everyone who has messaged me and wished me well and all that sort of things uh, after I posted the <clears throat> the review of the Kinsey carts, I actually got a whole bunch of messages like, Hey, great to see you posting and things like that. That, that really helped me, uh, help me out, help me feel better. Um, because I, I'm on a point and I don't know if it's, if it's just the way I'm feeling or if it's the, the hot weather or, you know, just that I'm behind on a lot of things. Uh, I, I don't know if what I'm doing here is, is something people are enjoying. Uh, I hope it is. And, and please comment below, uh, if it is. And so I've been really, uh, I've really been kind of contemplating and brainstorming lately. Uh, what do I do on this channel to get this channel to a next level of good, you know, like a next level of, of, uh, of what I want it to be of quality. Um, obviously t time is a, a big crunch for me, but I, th I think it's going to take more time devoting to it. Maybe that means less videos, but more quality videos. I'm not sure. We'll see how that works out. But um, anyway, I, I just want to thank everybody for all you know, all the well wishes and everything. Like I said, it's been a very rough couple months here. Um, so first things first. So <laughs> kind of a, I don't know, backstory on this. JNS Customs, uh, they do a lot of pulling stuff. Now, I've never met these guys. Actually, I take that back. Uh, Chucky Steffen says I have met these guys. Uh, at his place, but uh, unfortunately, I can't just place. I can't place them. That's another thing. I'm having some memory issues. So um, fun. Anyway, but uh, if I've met them, it was only once. And it was only briefly. Well, when I was at uh, the post summer show get together um, that that uh, the National Builders and Collectors Society had. Um, I was talking to Mike Steffens. Uh, if you guys, you guys, some of you guys might know Mike. He's around at the shows up north there and stuff. Super guy. Um, and anyway, he was showing me some of these pullers that him and Chuck and um, Chuck's son have put together. And I'm like, okay, where'd you get those? I kind of, you know, kind of want some of those. Uh, anyway, JNS, JNS Customs. So um, for some reason, these guys kind of flew under my radar. Uh, I do love me some pulling tractors, as y'all well know. Um, so I picked up some. Now these are really neat kits, uh, well designed as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm really excited to start throwing these together. Uh, I love that they just kind of slide into place in a couple spots. I don't know what that that goes. That's going to go up up there, I think. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to have to cut and clean supports and then attach those, which is fine. Um, anyway, I'm just I'm just. Mocking this up so you can see this is going to be a massy puller. Uh, so the super cool. Uh, it's kind of got like all the details there. Uh, really pretty pumped about this guy. Um, 
we'll see. We'll get her all put together. And do it. Did that come with a steering wheel? I don't know if that came with a steering wheel or not. If it looks like it came with everything else. These kits are super reasonably priced, by the way. Um, I think I paid like 25 bucks for the kits, maybe. Um, and, you know, whatever shipping was on several of these kits. Um, so there's the Massey here. I picked up a D21, uh, a D21 puller. So I'm real excited about that. And then uh, this guy is a mini Mo puller. I'm, this is this is my favorite. Uh, when I saw this one uh, done up from the guys up there in northern Iowa, I'm like, okay, yeah, one of those has got to go on your display. So uh, maybe to go with our uh, one of our red pullers here on Dogtown Ag, we're gonna maybe throw in a a mini Mo puller. I don't know. We'll see. And then last but not least, another international puller. Um, this is, uh, this will be a, a fun one. Um, uh, just, just kind of one. We'll see. This is probably going to be the first one I do. If it turns out good, I may stick it on my table and sell it. Oh, hey, there's a steering wheel in there, but there's a steering wheel in that other package too. I bet I just missed it. Um, anyway, really well designed kits. So great stuff from, uh, from JNS Customs. Just wanted to throw that out there. Then, uh, pick these up at the Evansville show. Now, these were built by the great Dean Fox. If you don't know Dean, he's kind of a, a Southern Illinois guy. He kind of hits the shows in that area, some Missouri shows, things like that. One of the uh, really good pull and tractor builders in this world. And um, you can just kind of see here. Uh, I try to get a Dean Fox puller at least once or twice a year uh, to add to my collection. So, um, I usually get these through Angotti Farm Toys, so because uh, Dean goes to shows, he doesn't really sell online, and usually if you don't hit Dean early in a show, he's going to sell out of the good stuff. So just throwing that out there. So uh, our friends at Angotti's Farm Toys do carry these though as well. So um, I decided it was it was a tough decision. They had several. They always have great deer. Uh, they had a nice international. Uh, had a really good looking Oliver. I thought about getting. Um, and a Massey as well, but I ultimately settled on a New Holland just because I don't have a New Holland puller yet and an Agco because I don't have one of those either. So, um, so you can see these aren't named or anything like that. So, uh, I'm throwing this out here to you guys. Um, maybe we should come up with a name for these and maybe I could get some decals made or something like that. I don't know if I can find somebody to make me some custom decals or not, but I bet I could. Um, so what do you think we should do for this New Holland and Agco. What should we call those guys? Uh, I guess this is technically labeled a white, but you know, this is an Agco body. But um, anyway, I'll just kind of give you a little scroll on. You see that they've got the wheelie bars. Uh, they've got the, the weights and all that sort of fun stuff all the way around. Two exhausts here, single exhaust there. Uh, got the appropriate wheels and all that sort of thing. I think they just look awesome. So uh, okay, anyway, this will be a little short video because uh, I'm worn down and I, I need to go take a go to bed basically. <laughs> uh, I did ha I think I picked up another couple things as well, uh, which maybe I'll do another video on later in the week if I get a chance. Uh, and I got some review videos coming up as well. So guys, again, I appreciate everything you guys do. Um, and in fact, as I was recording this, so I just saw that we got a sale on the website. Um, for the love of tractors.com. Uh, it is not well stocked right now. I'm just going to be honest. I will try and do that once we get past the time. Well, farm toy show, which is uh, one week away here. Uh, the la last week in June, I guess. Yeah. So, um, anyway, hope to see you out there. Thank you guys so much. Have yourselves an awesome day. Happy tractor hunting.